Hi, my name is Mick Kenyon. Uh, today I'm just going to quickly show you how to add a Google Business View virtual tour to your Facebook page. Um, so how do we do this? Okay, so first thing I'll show you is Emma's Hair and Beauty and you'll see when the page tabs load there's one there called Emma's Virtual Tour and also down the left hand side there's underneath the apps there's Emma's Virtual Tour and it's got a uh, an image of a virtual tour there as well. Okay, so when you click on the tabs, uh, it just takes a second to load up, but you do get the full interactive tour there. So you can zoom around and do the usual things which you would do on a Google Business View tour. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, first thing you'll need to do is to add an extension, a Google Chrome extension. So if you type in your Google search um, search box photo photo chrome extension business view and the one which I'm using is for the photo photo embedder uh, when you click on the photo photo embedder you'll get presented with a page like this which will say add to chrome I've already added mine to chrome which can be seen there in the top right hand corner it's the green button next to that you'll notice the red pin box that's also in, uh, 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 as an embedder it's just from a different company packaged uh, exactly the same though. So whichever your chosen one. Then uh, the next thing you need to do is um, switch over to uh, your Google Business view and, and navigate to the business you're wanting to embed onto your Facebook page. Um, I will add at this point it's a good idea to pick a still image which you're going to use on your Facebook um, page uh, tour as well. So get one of those. Uh, and uh, uh, one of the options is always to take a screen grab from uh, this page now, part of the, the virtual tour, and you can use that as your um, introduction, your, your logo, your icon picture. So um, find a suitable uh, starting point that you want your virtual tour to start from um, and navigate to that part. And then when you've done that, so you simply click on the green icon, the embedder, and uh, Photo Photo is then launched. Uh, there's a number of tabs along the bottom and the one which you're interested in is Embed. Uh, you can choose the screen size options there. We'll select the 640 by the 360. Click on that and you're simply going to copy the code down at the bottom. Make sure you've copied all the code there. So on a Mac it's Command C or on a PC it's Control C. Um, then the next thing we do is we flip back over to Facebook and um, I'm just going to switch over to my uh, business page uh, where I'm going to, to add a tab on. So uh, when you've navigated to the Facebook page you want, um, type in Woobox, W-O-O-B-O-X and um, you'll see a, either of these will work, but I'm going to select the top one there, Woo Box, and navigate down, and it says Free Custom Tab. When you click on the, cre the, the Free Custom Tab, it will take you to another page, and it asks you to install the Page Tab. Uh, what you need to do at this point is switch to your own Facebook page. Um, it says install council, but it hasn't really. <laughs> um, I've already installed it uh, on my uh, Facebook page, so I, it's asking me, do I want to install another version of it? I do, so I'm going to install the tab. Um, and then it asks you which Facebook page, if you've got multiple uh, Facebook pages you manage, which one would you like it adding to? I'm going to select Mick Kenyon Website Design and Photography and add Page Tab. Okay, um, it's now taking me through to the tab settings where it's asking me to configure the page tab and this is where we click on and straight away it's taking me through to the HTML, you can see the HTML page and this is where I'm going to paste that code which we just took from the, uh, from the um, app. So it's, uh, I'm using a Mac so it's Command V or on a PC it would be Control V and you're just pasting the code there. Okay. Once you've pasted that code in there, save settings. Important that you do that. So it's the big green button down at the bottom there. If you missed that, green in there, save settings. 
The next thing we're going to do is change the tab settings. So, um, so this will change it so that we're going to add. That's usually it's got a welcome screen on. This was because uh, I was playing around with it earlier on. But um, so where did I save an image in my desktop screenshot, which was taken before? So that's a screenshot. That that'll do for fine. And um, the tab name, I'm going to change that to um, example virtual tour, so name it as you wish, and save settings. Okay, so once that's done, the wheel's still spinning around, so that's saved now. Um, I'm going to just check, close Facebook because it always seems to throw a wobbly when you reopen it. So I'm going to um, just reopen my Facebook page and navigate to the website and down the left hand side now example virtual tour is showing with the screenshot. Okay, um, the next thing you can do is manage tabs and um, you can, if you want to drag it up the rankings to where about you want it, and we can save that. And now you will see it. Example virtual tour is up as a tab along the top, and it's also showing down at the bottom there. And just to prove that it works, hopefully, he says, um, yeah, there it is. So, um, um Probably we could have actually upped the the, the image um, screen size uh, when we were selecting it from the app earlier on, but it gives you an example of how it's going to work and you know that, that it, it, it's all functional uh, anyway. Hope you found that useful. Um, please leave any feedback in the comments. Thank you.